Hello, my dear students. Welcome to EPG Partshala. Myself, Dr. D.C. Saxena, Professor and Head of the Department of Food Engineering and Technology at Sant Longowal Institute of Engineering and Technology, Longowal, will be presenting you the paper Technology of Meat, Poultry, Fish, and Seafood Products. Herein, I will be presenting you the module Status and Scope of Meat, Fish, and Poultry Industry in India, which will be explained to you by my co-author, Ms. Romijan, who has been related to this work for a quite long time. Hello students, welcome to EPG Part Shala. I'm Romi Jan from Sant Nongwal Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today, I'm going to talk about module first, status and scope of meat, poultry, fish, and seafood industry in India of paper number 8, Technology of Meat, Poultry, Fish and Seafood Products. In this module, we will learn about the status and scope of meat, poultry, fish and seafood industry in India. Meat industry is one of the important segments of food processing industry in general and livestock animal based industry in particular in meat and meat processing sector poultry meat is the fastest growing animal protein in india the estimated production of meat was 6.5 million tons and india's export of meat products including buffalo meat sheep goat meat poultry products animal casings and processed meat stood at us dollars of 1.25 billion during 2007 to 2008 india exports more than 500000 million tons of meat of which major share or from buffalo meat buffalo meat production during 2008 to 2009 is estimated at 2.8 million tons and out of this about 21 percent is exported india is the sixth largest exporter of bovine meat which includes the beef and the cattle in the world. A recent report by the Foreign Agricultural Service of US Department of Agriculture states in 2013 India will be the world's largest beef exporter. Global beef exports in 2013 are expected to be up 7.6% over 2012. Pork up 1.4% and chicken and poultry meat up 1.6%. In this module, we will go through the following production and consumption of meat, poultry, and seafoods, statistics of meat, poultry, and seafoods, which includes the year wise per capita production and consumption as the production is concerned. And compared with meat, poultry, industry has registered a significant growth and is the fastest growing animal protein in India. Total global meat trade is projected at 27 million metric tons in 2013, up 2.4% from 2012. The Indian meat industry, in spite of big potential due to its large livestock population, has not taken its due share. Although India has acquired number one status in the world, contributing around 15% of world's milk production during 2007 to 2008. The meat production, which vibes well with dairy, is very low. Meat production is around 2% of the world meat production. Meat and poultry production in India has been about 4.6 metric per year 
with goats and sheep contributing 54% buffalo and cattle 26% poultry 13% and pig 7% it's mostly used fresh india has a very large livestock according to 2005 data the livestock population was 941.8 million of this 287 millions of cattle 75 millions of buffaloes and 70 million bullocks 110 million goats 5.4 million sheep 10 million pigs and 310 million poultry birds at present only a small percentage of the meat about 1 to 2% percent, is converted into value added products and most meat is purchased by consumers in the fresh frozen form for conversion into products at home restaurants etc maximum conversion takes place in pork products with growing urbanization and increasing quality consciousness the market for scientifically produced meat products is expected to grow rapidly demand is growing for ready to eat and semi processed meat products because of changing lifestyles and increase in exports to neighboring countries especially the middle east india exports meat products worth rupees 8000 million mainly to countries in the middle east and south east asia commodity prices should fall from the highs of early 2011 but in the real terms are projected to average up to 30% for meats which includes poultry over the 2011 to 2020 period compared to the last decade increase in commodity prices are now moving down the commodity chain into livestock commodities global agricultural production is projected to grow at 1.7% annually on average compared to 2.6% in the previous decade growth in livestock production stays close to recent trends despite the slower expansion production per capita is still projected to rise 0.7% annually the fishery sector which is covered in the outlook is projected to increase its global production by 1.3% annually to 2020 slower than over the previous decade due to a lower rate of growth of aquaculture 2.8% against 5.6% for 2001 to 2010 and a reduced or stagnant fish capture sector by 2015 aquaculture is projected to surpass capture fisheries as the most important source of fish for human consumption and by 2020 should represent about 45% of total fishery production including non food uses compared to the 2008 to 2010 period average capture fish prices are expected to be about 20% higher by 2020 in nominal terms compared with a 50% increase for aquaculture species quarter of meat importing one quarter of all meat consumed in the country although for some meat like pregnant and poultry the share of own production in total utilization has increased from 2011 to 2013 domestic production still falls short of the total demand and imports are needed to fill the gap bovine meat is where imports are particularly important as only 65% of the domestic consumption is satisfied by own production russia's meat production contracted substantially following the collapse of the soviet union as market reforms triggered relocation of resources towards the more competitive gain sector and away from less competitive high cost meat production russian agricultural policy places strong emphasis on import substitution with instruments 
that include border measures and input subsidies to provide incentives to agricultural producers and boost domestic production. Self-sufficiency is one of the central goals of the doctrine on food security adopted in the wake of food price increases during 2007 to 2008. The state program for development of agriculture for 2013 to 2020 set self-sufficiency targets for the main food categories to be achieved by 2020, 99.3% for meat. Producers are protected through border measures, most notably tariff rate quotas for different types of meat. Pig meat, bovine meat and poultry are the most protected products in Russia. In the particular case of pork production, the Russian industry is constrained by pork import restrictions due to cases of African swine fever. Since the ban includes live pork from the Europe, the Russian pork industry relies on live pig imports to remain competitive. Another sector which would be at a disadvantage is the meat processing industry as it utilizes imported low-cost beef, pork and poultry meat in production. In the short run, some decline in total supplies of the banned products would occur as contractors are cancelled and goods already in transit are prevented from entering Russia with resulting losses to importers and intermediaries. Meat is already mostly imported from South America and shipments are likely to increase over time given the intensification of political and economic ties with Russia in recent years. Imports from existing partners who continue to supply the Russian market may not immediately replace the banned shipments as it would mean diverting supplies from other customary markets and most of production and processing, especially in the meat sector, is undertaken with contracts already in place. Therefore, imports from countries not affected by the ban can only increase gradually. In 2013, Russia imported 8.3% of all beef traded worldwide and accounted for 7.5% of global pork imports, while for other products the share has been lower. For countries whose producers of the affected goods are concentrated in exports to the Russian market, the ban will certainly have serious economic implications. Russia is the number one market for Norway's fish and seafood, in particular salmon, with the value of exports in this category reaching US dollars of 1.1 billion in 2013. India is the fifth largest producer of eggs and ninth largest producer of poultry meat in the world. In the case of poultry, export from India is mostly to Maldives and Oman. Other markets such as Japan, Malaysia, Indonesia and Singapore are being explored. The organized sector of poultry industry is contributing nearly 70% of the total output and the rest 30% in the unorganized sector. The broiler industry is well dominated in southern states in our country with nearly 60-70% to 70 total output coming from these states. The layer industry once again is represented more in southern states especially Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra producing nearly 70% of the country's egg production. Presently about 800 hatcheries are operating in the country. India has emerged as the only country in the developing world a self-reliant, technology-driven industry with capability to produce every essential input for successful poultry farming including indigenous generic resource and breeding. World-class poultry vaccines and medicines 
specific pathogen free eggs forms and hatchery automation systems pelleted feed egg processing poultry processing nationwide network of disease diagnostic laboratories and facilities for entrepreneurial development and training in both private and public sectors india produces 3.6% of global egg production that is 61 million tons the annual growth rate of egg is 5 to 8% india has the lowest cost of egg production in the world at 2.55 us cents per egg the growth of the industry with steady production of 1,800 million kgs of poultry meat, 40 billion ag per year and employment generation of about 3 million people indicates the future prospects for the country. Yet the per capita availability is low. Now with changing food habits and increasing availability of eggs, the demand is increasing and growing at 10% a year. Further, egg production has grown during the last 30 years at an annual average of 16%, while that of broilers by 27%. During this period, Indian poultry industry made spectacular progress, transforming itself from backyard farming to a dynamic and sophisticated agri-based industry. Despite this, the egg industry experiences periodic slumps. There are five modern integrated poultry processing plants in the country besides a good number of not very modern small plants. These plants produce dressed frozen chicken and cut parts, while poultry industry is gradually taking shape poultry dressing and processing is still in its infancy in the country changing food habits rising income of the middle class indian presence of private players rising market demand of the indian poultry produced in the export market are some of the contributing factors to the growth of the industry even though india has abandoned availability of raw material and vast network of manufacturing facilities all over the country as well as manpower with expertise. Still, the low availability of advocate infrastructural facilities inadvocately developed linkages between R&D labs and industry and unawareness about hygienic practices, the Indian meat and poultry market stands at a low position in respect to the global markets. Indian poultry are exported mainly to the Middle East and the Maldives and more recently Japan. Thailand's competitiveness in the international market has been adversely affected of late due to increase in labor costs, thereby providing an opportunity for India to trade into the highly attractive Japanese market. Investment in better poultry breeds, adoption of improved management practices, effective and efficient feed formulations are expected to bring success in both the domestic as well as international markets and present an attractive investment option. Investments in modern abattoirs, processing, packaging, and distribution systems are also the need of the hour and merit investments. India has the world's largest cattle population, 1 by 2 of the total buffalo population and 1 by 6 of the total goat population of the world. Most meat production is undertaken by the unorganized sector. However, there is a huge scope for the growth of poultry industry as the country's annual per capita consumption is only 2.4 kilos. Per capita consumption of broiler meat has grown by 10% in the last 
15 years. India is third largest producer of the fish including 7 million tons per annum. In India, nearly 10 million people living in 4,000 coastal villages and more number of interior villages depends on the fishery sector. Frozen shrimp continued to be the single largest item of export in terms of value accounting for about 44% in the total export earnings. In terms of quantity, fish accounted for the major share at 40%, including the shrimp 21%. European Union was the largest market during the year 2008 and 2009 with a percentage share of about 32.6% followed by China 14.8%, Japan 14.6%, USA 11.9%, Southeast Asia 10%, Middle East 5.5% and other countries 10.6%. There is a tremendous growth potential and good scope in this sector. India's cattle population, numbering more than 272 million, is quietly and steadily achieving away large areas of the percent as grown, human and animals, complete for food and more and more land is brought under cultivation. India has enormous potential for fisheries, 7,500 km for coastlines, 1,91,024 km of rivers and canals, 4.4 million hectares of reservoirs and freshwater lakes, an exclusive economic zone of 2.02 million square km, 1,91,024 km of rivers and canals and 4.4 million hectares of reservoirs and freshwater lakes has an enormous potential for fisheries. In 1999, the country had an estimated 181,284 traditional fishing crafts, 44,578 motorized traditional crafts, 53,684 mechanized fishing boats and about 200 deep sea vessels in operation. However, it ranks second in terms of inland fisheries. Almost 60% of the fish production is from marine sources and shrimp is the major component of marine exports. The existing post-harvest processing and packaging technologies in the Indian fishing industry are grossly inadequate. Furthermore, processed fish product exports include conventional block frozen products, individual quick frozen products and minced fish products like fish sausage, cakes, cutlets, pastes, etc. Also, the deep sea fishing industry today stands on a very weak footing. Investment in deep sea fishing, vessels for prawns, shrimp, skewed, tuna, cuttlefish, octopus, red snappers, ribbon fish, mackerel, lobster, catfish, etc. is required. Other aspects requiring greater attention are quality improvement, technology upgradation, development of value-added products, development of infrastructure and improved methods of handling and preservation. Exports have shown an increase of 11% in quantity and value. Frozen shrimp continues to be the largest item exported in terms of value at 59%. Fresh fish is the largest export item in terms of quantity with 36% of total export volume. India with a fish reproduction of nearly 6 metric tons a year is now the third largest 
fish producing country in the world however it's ranked 16 in terms of seafood exports with a 4% share in global marine trade with marine exports reaching 2 billion euros in 2007 forecasts are for 4 billion euro export earning by 2010 especially with untapped aquaculture and tuna reserves aquaculture is growing globally india is ranked second in aquaculture production but currently only 6% of the coastline is utilized for this purpose the potential for future growth is significant tuna fish farming is growing in importance india has the resource potential of 2 lakh 13000 tons but currently lands less than 10% a year the marine product export development authority and indian government are currently focused on enhancing production and boosting exports to make india the top global seafood exporter india has the largest number of european approved processing plants in the world with a 3 metric ton annual capacity however only 20% is being currently utilized it's estimated that by 2010 25 million euro would be invested in the sector by the local market alone so students let's now summarize what we have learned in this module indian buffalo meat is witnessing strong demand in international markets due to its lean character and its near organic nature the increasing prices of chicken and eggs are due to growing demand from the consumers consumers have also shifted to poultry products because mutton prices are almost at par there's a huge potential for the growth of the poultry industry provided consumer is educated and mass awareness programs initiated as the country's annual per capita consumption is only 2.4 kilos presently there are only 5 egg powder plants in india which is considered insufficient insufficient in view of growing export demand for different kind of powder including whole egg yolk and albumin the scope of foreign investment and state of the art technology in this field is therefore tremendous export of marine products has steadily grown over the years from a mere us dollars of 0.84 million in 1961 to 1962 to us dollars of 1 lakh 849.08 million in 2008 to 2009 marine products account for approximately 1.1% of the total exports from india frozen shrimp continued to be the single largest item of export in terms of value accounting for about 44% in the total export earnings that's all about status and scope of meat poultry fish and seafood industry thank you so by now you must have understood the explanation of status and the scope of meat fish and poultry industry in india which has been explained to you by my co-author and in the next module we will be discussing about the composition and nutritive value of meat from different sources thank you